Hi, my name is Shushmija and I will be presenting our work on accelerated volume rendering with volume guided neural denoising. Volume visualization is a method to extract valuable insights from volumetric data using graphics and imaging techniques. Its application in medical training, communication and clinical diagnosis can provide significant benefits. Real-time photorealistic volume rendering aids in the simplified interpretation of data which is particularly useful for non-professionals or inexperienced users. Path tracing methods model the physical process of complex light transport in a scene. In path tracing, the system first traces a ray from the camera to find the visible surface and from the visible surface to the light source. This involves solving complex rendering integrals at each hit point. These integrals are generally approximated using Monte Carlo methods, which follow a stochastic process to sample light paths. However, these Monte Carlo methods require many samples to converge to a noise-free solution. For example, for this particular scene, when we render using just four sample paths per pixel, we will end up with a result shown on the left side of the image, where a significant amount of noise is visible. When you sample more light path per, paths per pixel, the noise in the rendered image decreases and the image converges to a noise-free solution. In the case of volumes, the complexity further increases as we have to deal with the light interactions inside the volume too and not just at the surface of the volume. This means that the number of sample paths required per pixel is even higher to converge to a noise-free solution, thereby hindering it from being a real-time solution. Denoising has been a well-studied topic in the literature of Monte Carlo rendering and has shown tremendous success in accelerating the rendering process. However, most of the work has been done in surface-based interactions. And one of the factors that contribute to the success of the denoising methods is the use of additional information from the renderer in addition to the noisy color information, such as the geometric properties or the material properties at the hit points. However, not much has been explored in the volumetric domain where in-volume interactions are to be considered. And the additional features are generally either noisy or not well defined for the volumes. In this work, we explore denoising for the volumetric domain. Our denoising framework takes a sample noisy image as input and outputs a denoised image. We use images rendered with one sample path per pixel as input to our denoising framework. The idea is to separate out the noise from the actual signal and use the neural network to infer the missing parts of the signal so that it converges to the noise-free Monte Carlo rendered result. We use a simplified volume rendering approach with single scattering and attenuation. For each pixel, we trace rays from the camera to the volume and find the first hit point based on the transfer functions defined for the volume. We compute the diffuse lighting and ambient lighting at this point. We assume a single scattering inside the volume and the scattering events are based on the scalar volumes. In the absence of scattering, the ray travels in the same direction but with attenuation due to in-volume absorption. The sample ray is then transmitted into the volume. We trace the ray inside the volume and accumulate the attenuation till the composited opacity exceeds a defined threshold which we call the second head point. The ray is scattered into a random direction centered around its gradient direction at this point and is traced with attenuation till it leaves the volume. For the surface-based interactions, additional features from the renderer played an important role in the effectiveness of the denoising methods. So we ask the question, what should these additional features be in the case of volumes that when given as input to the neural denoiser, the network learns to remove noise from the image. We propose to use three features corresponding to the position, normal and depth at the first interaction event as our first set of additional features. The normal is calculated based on the gradient values. Similarly, we also consider the same features corresponding to the position, normal and depth from the second interaction event where the scattering effect is modeled. With these features as input, we use a neural bilateral grid to denoise the noisy input. 
The network is divided into two steps. First, the input which consists of the noisy one sample path per pixel radiance image and the auxiliary feature is fed into a compact neural network to output a guide image. The neural network consists of two convolution layers with 20 channels and a kernel size of 5x5. This guide image and the noisy one sample per pixel input are then used to denoise the image using a bilateral grid of a lower resolution in the second step. A bilateral grid is a discrete 3D representation of the 2D image that enables fast image processing while preserving strong edges. The method has shown success in applications such as edge-aware painting, tone mapping, image stylization and many more. The grid is defined from a spatial map which corresponds to the pixel coordinates and a range map which is generally the image intensity. The pixels are projected onto a higher dimensional grid such that the pixels that are nearby in both spatial positions and intensities are close to each other. In our case, we have a noisy input image with one sample path per pixel with a height h and width w and a sample bilateral grid is created in the following manner. Let Vx, Vy and Vz denote the coordinates of the voxel V in the 3D bilateral grid. The pixels that contribute to this voxel will lie in the region centered at this point. The width and height of the region are determined by the grid sampling factors. The value of the voxel in the bilateral grid is then calculated by the weighted combination of all the pixel intensities in this region. The weights are computed based on the distance between the 3D voxel coordinate and the coordinate formed by the pixel coordinate and the guide image intensity at that pixel. A tent filter T is applied to give more weightage to the pixels that are close to the voxel coordinates. To reconstruct the denoised image from this processed bilateral grid, an inverse operation is performed where the pixel value is obtained by the weighted combination of all non-zero voxels in the bilateral grid. The weights are determined similar to the previous step, step using the same tent filter on the distance between the coordinates. Finally, the mean square loss is computed between the output denoised image and the target image which is back propagated to learn the weights of the neural network. This represents a framework with a single bilateral grid. To perform filtering at different scales, we use three levels of bilateral grids with different sampling factors and use a per pixel weighted combination of these processed images. We ran our experiments on three volumetric data sets corresponding to the 3D scan of a human head, a king snake and a stag beetle, each of which consists of millions of voxels. For the hierarchical bilateral grid, we use the sampling factors of 4, 8 and 16 along all the three directions. And all our experiments are implemented in TensorFlow. Experiments show that a volumetric denoising technique delivers remarkable image quality improvements and accelerates rendering time. You can see the input 1 SPP noisy image and the output denoised image here. Here we compare our denoised images with the target images which are rendered using 256 sample paths per pixel. Here we show a close-up view of the input rendered using one sample path per pixel, the output denoised image from the one sample path per pixel image, and the target image rendered using 256 sample paths per pixel. A denoiser with the additional features can effectively remove the noise from the image. We also use quantitative metrics such as PSNR and SSIM to compare the visual quality of our result with images rendered using a varying number of sample paths per pixel. Generally, as the number of sample paths per pixel increases, the quality increases. A denoised image quality matches the quality of the images rendered using 16 to 32 sample paths per pixel, but renders it at at least 7 times faster rate. We also study the effect of using auxiliary features in our denoising framework. We observe that our proposed combination of auxiliary features consistently improve the denoising performance. 
Finally, our method also has some limitations. Our method is limited to volumetric content with discernible layers and where a single scattering is sufficient to produce photorealistic renderings. We also use simple transfer functions and a simple scene setup. However, for phenomena like smoke, fire, wax, etc. that require more complex transfer functions, additional volumetric features might be required to effectively guide the denoiser. Further, we observe that our method fails to capture fine details around very thin structures. This can be improved by using increasing the network capacity or by using additional filter operations on the bilateral grid. In conclusion, we study neural denoising in the volumetric domain and propose auxiliary features that boost the quality performance of the denoiser, achieving more than 7 times speed up factors in rendering time. We believe our work will inspire future research to experiment with different features that effectively guide volume denoisers in real time. Thank you.